hundreds of kids ending up in a broken juvenile justice system. But why are so many teenagers turning to crime? Yeah, that is the question and what's being done to help them. The answers are sobering for the last few weeks. Chris Conti has joined News Channel 5 investigates in talking to kids about how they're ending up in trouble. For weeks now, we have been showing you how broken our juvenile justice system is and how it got that way. But what about the kids? Many of them are as broken as the system, which is failing them. Okay. Is that your, your Larry Landscaping Company? Yeah, I'm trying to put it up with my dad. Okay. If you want to understand how broken our city is. How's your day going? Listen to kids like Leander Collier. How old are you? 16. Whites Creek? Freshman? Uh, it's a uh, dream. He was arrested in August for having a gun. In the last six years, hundreds of kids just like him have been arrested on similar charges. Do you take responsibility yeah. for it? Yeah, I ain't like, do, do, you, do you know you shouldn't have had the gun? Yeah, I know, but still at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you know what I mean, it is what it is. I regret it though. But there is something inherently sobering about this young man's reality. He didn't have a gun to commit a crime. He had a gun because he doesn't feel safe in our city. At 16, you felt like you needed to have a gun. What does that say about the city? It ain't safe. It really ain't. I mean, it's not no other way to put it. Salome Aguilar also ended up in juvenile court for having a gun that wasn't his. You need, you need a gun everywhere you go you these days. Why do you need a gun? Mm -hmm. Because you're scared? Because what? I ain't scared of nothing, but it's just for protection. You you know how nasty you begin. Why did you turn to crime? Why did you do bad things? Why did I do bad things? Like I said, me, myself, why I did bad things? It's because I chose to. It is sobering to listen to these kids talk, but there are programs out there trying to help catch teens who have slipped through the cracks, broken, Searching for Solutions will be available online this afternoon and on air tonight at 6 o'clock.